This is Jordan Tower with JT News. Make sure you smash that like button, smash that subscribe, and let's get right into the news. Will Kinky B, who is basically ex-best friend of Jeezy. Uh, I think they stopped messing with each other around 2012. When Jeezy decided to take the CTE label that Kinky B was heading up. Uh, Kinky B, I dealt with when he was, when JW was on CTE. I did that video with JW and Jeezy. And Kiki B's cool. Kiki B's cool, man. And, uh, you know, this is a story I've heard many times with, uh, <laughs> with Jeezy. That he doesn't always want to give everybody what they're worth. It's just, you know, people's allegations, you know. From videographers, everybody, he, he, he cheaps out. And he cheaped out with his best friend kinky b um and they had a, a suit going for five million dollars in 2012 i don't remember how they settled it well kinky b did a uh interview with big facts podcast and uh you know this with uh big mac black and um basically <laughs> he aired out jeezy <laughs> now big facts podcast the whole thing doesn't air i think till the weekend uh, but wait, it, DJ Screams also He's the DJ DJ Scream at Big Mac Black So anyways um, And shout out to them They have a good podcast I, I actually enjoy it Like certain podcasts Like they, they keep it to a podcast They don't get too personal with everything and everything So anyways Kiki B said All respect was gone for Jeezy When he uh, forgave Gucci Man Because you know, someone someone lost their life, man. Pookie Loke lost his life. Now, Jeezy will always say that Pookie Loke acted on his own and everything. But, you, you know, back then, <clears throat> Jeezy put out on a record that he uh, a bounty for Gucci Man's chain. And Pookie Loke took it upon himself. He was, he was affiliated with all them and... Uh, took it upon himself and Gucci Man did what he did now was Gucci Man wrong absolutely not he was defending himself and Gucci Man Gucci Man did the right thing that night I think I think I think by going at Jeezy during that that that's what people expected someone try if you try to erase me from this planet we're never going to be cool again and you know what I'm going to I'm going to I'm going to perform these diss records to you to your face and that's what happened that night until Jeezy was like, yo, you know, he did this whole speech to, like, you know, make everything cool and peace. Now, Gucci man said, sure, you know, whatever, you know, like, you know, just so they, that was part of the act. Uh, you know, Gucci man will never totally forgive Jeezy. And Jeezy will never forgive uh, Gucci man. But the fact that he did that, anybody that was down with Jeezy or lives by those codes probably all respect is out the window and that's what kinky b said because he was like yo this was real someone lost their life like this wasn't just like you know two people arguing and then nothing bad happened now someone lost their life and jeezy probably should have never said yo like let's just make peace you know it's like should have just been it was what it was you guys did a versus and that was that keep the energy you know, went a different way, and I don't blame Kinky B for feeling that way. Jeezy uh, did turn his back, and I, I don't think he just said that because Jeezy turned his back on him. I think it's just that deep, bro. It's like I don't know. You know, Jeezy's doing his new thing. You know, <laughs> the Jenemy. He has his own little. Uh, I don't know what he has. He has some little like fake podcasts he does everything you know Jeezy does big things but it's like he also follows a lot of things like the Avion thing is just I mean that's good it's making money but I don't know Jeezy's Jeezy's different one of my favorite artists though by the way but it's just still on a, on a human level question marks <laughs> he didn't put on that many people and he could have put on a lot of people and he was on a song called put on <laughs> then we got Little Reese clowning himself Look at this video Look at the way this video looks Look at he's embracing his girl 
like something traumatic just happened. And he's like, yo, don't worry, guys. Don't worry, guys. We gonna roll them up. Big backwoods. <laughs> he's talking about little Tom. Little Tom. See, talking like that hurts my voice, but that's his natural voice. Dude, it's like nobody's going to do anything. Nobody's going to jeopardize their freedom right now because of that situation. Maybe King Von's guys, direct guys. I don't think I don't think Lil Dirk's going to do anything about it or anybody. It's, it, it, it helps uh, keep an energy out there to sell records. I don't think anything's going to happen because these guys are like, first of all, first of all, Lil Dirk has a case against him right now he has a case uh that he has he's going to court for he can't be involved in you know getting revenge uh then we got uh you know nobody's gonna do anything but maybe king von's direct guys that were with him all the time maybe the i don't know i don't advocate that i'm not saying yeah something's gonna happen but they keep talking about it you know so it's like and then, and then, little Tom and little 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 Tim. Sorry, little Tim, it's, it's it's hard to. Little Tim and Quando Rondo are saying back to them, "You're not going to do anything." So it's this big standoff and this thing that just keeps going on and on and on. You know, so it, it is what it is. Whatever they want to do, you know. You know, it's like, unfortunately, King Von lost his life that night. Something that didn't have to happen like that. You know crazy then we got polo g claiming he is a reborn tupac i'm so sick of these young rappers always wanting to why don't you just be polo g polo g can rap too i mean i'm not saying anything bad about him. i'm just saying why do you want to be tupac so bad why can't tupac just be tupac and you be polo g everybody wants to be Pac, man it's weird I would never want to be somebody else. I want to be myself. <laughs> you know what I mean? Come on. Polo G. Doing great things on your own. You're making money for your family and everything. You don't got to be Pac. And I know why you're doing it. You're doing it for people just getting angry. Okay. Uh, anyways. Um... Appreciate you guys. I'll check you guys in the next one. This is Jordan Tower with JT News.